Okay, so now we're going to work on structs or classes or object orientation, right? So the first thing you want to do in order to... So we're going to make a struct called bank account. Okay. And it's going to have an, let's say, account ID. We'll just call it ID. And we'll make that a str, a string. And then we'll have um, we'll have the balance, okay? And that'll be I thirty two, unless you have a whole lot of money, whole lot of money, right? Okay, so now we have a struct called bank account, all right? Uh, you know, let me just show you this, right? Fn main. Okay, we can declare this. Let my acc account equal bank account and then we can put this in here ID is one two three four five and then we can put amount no it's balance balance and we'll put five dollars I'm, I'm, I'm poor okay so then we'll do a print line. This is not going to compile, so I'm, I'm telling you that ahead of time. Uh, I just want to show you this, right? So my account, okay. So okay. So Rust C account dot rs, okay unexpected lifetime perimeter right so what you want to do here what a lifetime is is it guarantees this is basically saying I guarantee you that this this uh, a variable is going to be um, is going to be available throughout the lifetime of this object okay we'll get into that in a minute okay so we'll put that there Get rid of that error. Okay. It cannot be formatted with the, the default formatter. Okay. Uh, I spoke on this before. I, I said it backwards, right? So, what you have to do is make this class or make this uh, um, struct derive. debug okay what this does is this allows this uh, to be printed out with this this syntax right here right without it it won't print out okay see there we go okay and it's gonna print it out like it's gonna print it out just like this kind of like a, a the JSON object okay all right but that's not what we wanted that's not what we want to do right we want to be able to declare this is a new bank account so what you got to do this is kind of this is like Kotlin does it okay so bank account so we're gonna implement bank account bank account okay and what we're gonna do is FN and new okay um, we'll put We'll put uh, the ID, which is going to be a str, okay? And in here, we have to make sure that this, that the variables are going to be alive. You know what? I'm going to let it. I'm going to let it blow up at us so you can see it, because Rust Rust has very very good uh, uh, um, warnings. Okay, so it's gonna it's gonna return a bank account. We're basically just gonna make a new new one of these. This is how this is how you do object orientation. Right? Okay. So all you do is bank account and then we put ID is equal to to ID and then balance balance is equal to zero. Okay, 
So now what we can do is instead of doing this, we can do this is called the Turbofish Operator. I have no idea, no idea why they call it that. What the hell is my light? Okay. Come on. I don't like that. I want my keyboard to be backlit. Okay, is that F10? Okay, there we go. There. All right. <clears throat> Technical difficulties. All right. So, the ID will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. All right. It can't it has to have an anonymous lifetime so that you know these variables it shows that these variables are going to be available for the life of this object. It's just it's just one of those rust things, you know, that makes it makes it safe. Okay? So, let's do it again. I did it backwards. Okay. Let's try this again. We had a couple errors. Okay, there we go. So, account. Now it should have an ID of 1, 2, 3, 4, and 0 as the balance. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 0. Okay, so that's how that's how we'll do object orientation on that right there, right? So let's say we want to update that balance, right? So FN, and what you want to do here, now that you're operating on the um, object, you want to put self in here, right? So that it'll, it'll um, go to this structure right here. Let, let me put update in here because that's the name of the function. Update, okay? And then we'll put... Uh, v for value and this would be I32 okay and what we'll do in here is self dot balance is equal to V okay alright so we'll put my account dot update and we'll put thirty dollars in there I'm a little bit richer okay self is a reference and not be written okay so we have to we have to make that mutable see just by reading the error reading the errors right here you can pretty much figure out anything in Russ here they have very good uh, error reporting here, or debug reporting. Okay, cannot borrow as mutable. Okay, so this has to be mutable as well. Okay, so there we go. All right, so we should have $30 in our bank account now. There you go. One, two, three, four, five, and your bank account uh, okay, now what we want to do here is uh, we have this format right here for you know when it prints out, but we're in debug mode, right? So we want to we want to control the display, okay? So I got to do use. We have to import this package. This is how you import packages. FMT. Okay, so implement uh, display for account or bank account. Okay, and All right, so we're gonna put that in there like that, right? 
All right, so you're gonna have to have self in order to, you know, in order for the bank account to be, you know, to use the dot operator to operate on that particular object. And this F is a formatter, right? Which will allow you to format this particular, um, this particular class, right? This is a, this is like using if you if you're used to Java, it's like using putting a two string method on there, right? Or two string uh, function method, whatever. Okay, and then you have to return a FMT result. Okay, and we have a macro which uh, which is gonna you know which is write, which is gonna write to the formatter, and it's gonna come out at this format, the ID and the balance, and here are the two value uh, the two variables, right? So now that we have that in, okay, we can take this out and it'll print out our our um, default way or our, our way of uh, displaying, you know, the output or our, our uh, assigned way of uh, displaying output. Okay, it indicates the anonymous function lifetime. See? Very good uh, error reporting. Okay. So let's clear this. Implement display. Okay, so this has to be FMT colon. Because it's gonna come this is coming from the format package of display. Okay. I might have to put that STD on there as well. STD stands for standard, not sexually transmitted disease. Amount, okay. Put the wrong thing in there, and it's going to be balance here. Okay, there we go. Okay, you can see that it's printed out in our default way, or in our way that we, we described here. Okay, told you we would get back to that, and we did.